Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Learn to pay attention to women's behavior. Behavior. Now this is very important. And I don't mean necessarily in terms of, oh, these women behaving badly or anything like that. I mean their body language, how they are acting, their nonverbal communication. See, one of the things I've said several times before, I said several women have told me some things, talked to me and everything. Now, I had, um, I've i heard of uh, some detractors questioning that because they were wrong. Didn't you say women be lying and stuff? Well, yeah, they do. But here's the thing, and I learned this coming up. You got to match what their behavior is with what they're saying. Because understand, some women can say a whole lot, but body language says even more. It's hard for them to hide that. It's hard to fake that. And, and indeed, if you even listening to them talk, you know, even their tone of voice, you gotta be able to communicate, you understand what they're saying because uh, they can say hi in three different ways. They can say the word hi and it means three different things. But that's a whole other video as far as interpreting how they actually communicate it. Uh, verbally, but non-verbally, that, that speaks volumes. That speaks volumes. Like if you were in front of a woman, you talking to her, say you approach that woman, you talking, her body language says a lot. I even mentioned it in Nice Guys and Players. Like you could be talking to a woman, but she don't look at you the whole time or she's ignoring you. And then I use the scenario in Nice Guys and Players of the guy still trying to get her number and she just told him no. But if he was paying attention to her behavior, she didn't look at him the whole time. You know, how is she standing? Is she smiling? See, when, I, when I've when i talked about women telling me some stuff, I'm also um, correlating what they're saying with how they're looking at me, how they're talking. And indeed, just from what I've done in life professionally, as, working as an investigator, uh, both uh, you know, in the DC court system and also with the Department of Justice, you start learning how to talk to people and catch what they're saying. Also, work briefly as a journalist. I, I'm not joking when I say I've had a thousand jobs. And, you know, I know some people, they like, they can't get that. Rom's always been a hustler. <laughs> but anyway, well, shoot, even working in sales, even working in sales, you learn how to read people. You have to, you have to. I'm very good at that. I'm very good at that because if so many people have said, hey, Rob, you look like you're looking through me. I am. But that's the thing, because I'm saying they can say one thing, but I'm just like, well, you saying you don't like that guy, but um, I notice how, how big your eyes have gotten. Shoot, sometimes if you're really astute, you can look at their pupils dilate. I'm listening to the tone of your voice. It was like, you trying to say he ain't this or that, but well, one, you keep talking about him. Two, you getting excited. Three, your nipples are getting hard. And then all your whole body is pointing towards him. <laughs> and you know, and it's uh, one of those things you have to actually pay attention. See, a lot of guys, when they talking to a woman, they caught up into their own thing. They're not really paying attention to her paying attention and this is something you can practice every day pay attention pay attention like a fun thing to do go to a public place like a club or something get you a drink sit back and chill and just watch the behavior watch how the women are interacting with a guy that's why i always said if you see a man and a woman together in public you can get a general idea about the state of their relationship easily like, um, and I think I mentioned this on my Patreon uh, a week or so ago, and I just casually mentioned it, but you know, I was in a bookstore and saw uh, this young couple together. And the woman, she was all up in him. She was her body language, everything. I was like, dang, dude, you tore that shit up, you know? In fact, I've always said that. I remember back in college, before I even got started good orientation, this is big old Italian dude, and he had this fine little honey, 
uh, next to him. She all sweaty and stuff. I ain't know him. I just looked at him and said, I, took, I, just, I just stood next to him. I said, you hit that, didn't you? He's like, yeah. I could just tell by her body language and everything. See, you got to pay attention to it because it tells you a lot. See, a lot of men get played because they're not, they not paying attention to the behavior and definitely not listening to her tone of voice when she says stuff. Listening to her tone of voice, how excited does she sound when she says, like, if you ask her out, how excited does she sound? Or is she playing it real cool? And it's still an art, not a science. A woman, I've known a couple women, they can be real cool and calm, but then you get them behind closed doors and it's crazy. But it's still the tendency that you're looking for. How excited are they acting? How are they looking at you? Like that's a big, that's a big thing. How are they looking? Even that choosing signal thing, you gotta learn how to really look at how a woman is smiling when she sees you. Is it a lingering smile or is it a like, mm, one of those quick ones? A lot of women do that just to keep the man at peace, but she ain't interested. And you know, double take. One of the things, like, let me, let me get into that again. See, some guys be thinking just because a woman looks at them. Oh, she, that's a choosing signal. Women look at every guy. They do a quick look, but they look at every single guy. That's just their nature. Did you get a second look? See, I look for the double take. <laughs> when you get the second look, that tells you more than anything else. It's like either the long lingering look, and that's the obvious one, but the second look. Because usually if a, a woman sees a guy and he's not uh, visually attractive to her, she'll just look and keep walking. But she kind of looks, looks you up and down, and then maybe look away, but then look back again. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> but you gotta learn that. And what do I always say? I always say, you gotta get out there. See, a lot of stuff, one of the things I see, especially on like social media and stuff, dudes are looking for shortcuts. There are none. It's what the game of man gets woman, you have to play it. Like the example I always use, you could, you could watch all the videos on basketball. You can watch all the videos, listen to top-notch players, coaches, all of that. Okay, but it's still different from actually getting out there and playing. Like, here, you know, here's an example more in line with what I teach anyway. You can read a hundred books on sex. You can read a hundred, you can read a hundred books on sex. You can watch some videos. You can watch some porn. You can, you can do all of that. Shoot, you can even be one of those people, one of those men who want to jack off and shit. You can do all that shit. And you got plenty of guys who do that. But none of that, none of that compares to actually being inside of an actual woman. Not a single one of those things. Because one thing, you deal with enough women. If you have sex with more than five women, shoot, two women, really, you'll, figure, you'll see, oh, they ain't all the same. You got to throw out all of those stuff that you read. Like, that's good to read, good in theory, but, you know, you still got to play it. And that's the same thing with learning women's body language. You got to engage women. You got to engage women. Because I'm going to tell you what, and this is a personal thing, I probably learned more from women who rejected me. I've learned more. Because then I started thinking, okay, what was their body language like? How were they acting towards me? You know? Did they come over to me or I had to go over to them? When they say hi to me, was it just a, hey, Ron? Or was it, hey, Ron? You got to learn all of that. Only way you can learn is to get out and do it. That's why I say, even with everything I say, I say, go out and try it. Don't sit and question whether or not it works or something. Go try it yourself. That'll tell you right then. Because first of all, the reality is something that might work for me not, might not work for you. That's the reality. It could work for me, but not you. So the thing you need to do is figure out, does it work for you? Everything. All right. So anyway, that's all I have for today, y'all. Um, well, I keep saying that and I'll probably do a car video. That's all I have for right now. I'll get back with y'all. Peace and blessings.